Hey guys, it's Miss Britt. Thanks for joining me for today's craft. Today we are going to make picture frame jars. You need some scissors, just something to put your paints on. I'm using sponges, just plain kitchen sponges to use to paint because it gives it a really cool texture. Some paint, a jar, a picture that I've already put in the jar, some tape, and a cutout piece of paper that is the size of the picture. So first, I've already taken this step. You're gonna take your lid off your jar. Just find any picture that you want, just any picture at all, and just make sure that it fits in your jar and tape it inside the jar, not the outside. Make sure you tape it inside the jar. Okay. Next, because you have your piece of paper that's cut out, the exact size picture. Next, you're gonna take that piece of paper and fold it perfectly in half, like that. So that when you cut around to make a design, all your sides match. So. Then you're just gonna cut around the edges of the paper. We'll set the jar aside for a second. Just gonna cut around the edges of the paper. I'm just using scissors that already have like a jagged edge in them just for like a little design. Um, regular scissors works too, obviously. So you're just gonna take it and just cut just a simple little design out of the piece of paper. Cut around the edges here. You can cut any design that you want. You can use a heart, you can cut a flower, you can cut any old design you want. Just right along the edges of the paper. Because I'm using jagged scissors, I'm just trying to make sure that all the sides have the same, same size markings on them. That should be good. Need your scraps. Okay. Next, you're going to open that up and put it over your picture like that. Make sure that it's the design that you want. Top a little more jagged. The one side doesn't look like it has many markings on it. There we go. Like so. Alright, and just make sure you got it even. Once you got it even, and that's you've chosen your design, and that's the design you want cut out, then you are just going to I ran out of my scotch tape. So I'm using any tape I could find in the house. I just need little pieces. Just take it. Oh, make a hoop. And put it on the paper. And the inside part that's going to go against the jar. Thank you. 
And just make sure that you have <clears throat> a piece of tape on all four sides. So I have one, two, and three. I just got one more side to go. And once you get tape on all four sides, you're going to bring your jar back over and put the piece of paper however you wanted your design to be over the picture on the outside of the jar. And just press it down really well. Okay, because this picture had a lot of blues and yellows in it, I think that that's the colors I'm going to use. You can use one solid color. You can use every color of the rainbow. You can use any type. There was a lot of blues and yellows in that picture, though, so that's the colors I'm going to use. Just squirt a little out. here what you're gonna do and that's why I said to make sure that this is taped down really well we're gonna start around the picture first just so that the picture so that the paper itself doesn't flip up or anything so you're just gonna take your sponge and dip it into your paint make sure you get the whole sponge coated really well and then you're just gonna start around the paper like this. Oh, I don't know if maybe it's because I'm using plastic. It's not sticking very well. Maybe I need darker colors. Let's see how the blue works. Nice and coated. Oh yeah, the blue works a lot better. Must be because of this. So we'll go around the picture with blue. That way you don't see the picture underneath and it's fully covered when you take your piece of paper off. And you can use like a paintbrush, you know, anything you want to give it like a more solid look. I just thought the sponge look was pretty cool. Make sure you get it nice and coated, quite thick around there. Need some more blue. Make sure it's nice and coated around the picture. We will just use blue for the whole thing since it seemed to be covering it better than the yellow. And I'm just using an old um, peanut butter jar. You can use any type of jar you want. You can use a mason jar. You can use uh, an old mayonnaise jar, an old pickle jar. Um, I'm just using an old peanut butter jar. I just thought that the textured look of the sponge was really cool afterwards. Because it kind of puts like little bubbles in it. Makes it a little... A little textured. And if you push down really hard on your sponge, a lot of paint will pour out like that. So be really cautious of pushing down really hard on your um, sponge so that it doesn't, like, come out of there and go all over the place.
And then what you're gonna do with them at the end is like super cool looking. And you can get nice and messy doing this one with the paint. So I hope you're all wearing your aprons that we did together. And if you didn't see that video, you can go to the library's YouTube page and see the video where we made our homemade aprons for cooking with mom and dad or doing messy crafts. Now, if you don't want it just like a flat solid color like this after you get your first color laid down you can go in with some other um, darker colors like I have purple purple is one of the darker colors that I have I'll squeeze some of that out and then like I said I just used just a just a kitchen sponge will work fine and you can cut it into pieces. Or if you're using a paintbrush, just use wash it out or use a different paintbrush. And just get it. Then you can just go in just to add some extra color to it if you'd like. Nice little splotches of other color. And if you use acrylic paints like I'm using, it washes off of like the table surfaces and stuff really well. The table I'm doing this on though, I do crafts on a lot, so. wet with the purple and then it kind of just blends over it because you're using like the spongy look it just kind of blends over it and like fills in some of the holes that like the blue didn't fill in from the sponge just gives it kind of like a cool effect And when you're cutting out your the uh, pattern that you'd like to go over your picture, um, construction paper works a lot better than like lined paper that I used because it absorbs the paint better so it doesn't get like as wrinkly as quick like this did right here. Um, I ran out of construction paper and I didn't realize it. So I just used a piece of lined paper. And then once you go all through it with whatever effect and colors you want, you can just keep going over it with different colors if you'd like. Anything like that. And you can push your paint aside. And we're going to turn it around. And very carefully lift up the paper. Mm. I work better if I had a clean hand, so I'll we'll use this hand to do this with. It's really good for this part if you wait until the paint dries. I don't think you guys want to sit here for hours while it dries, though. And then you can just put your lid back on and now you have a jar that you can keep coins and it's a picture frame nice and cute nice little decoration around it 
or another thing because of the you use the sponge look and it kind of has like the glass that comes through it like the see-through that comes through it if you put just like um just a few little racks in there and then you set like a flameless candle on top of it just for the racks to hold it in place you put a flameless um tea light candle on top of it and turn it on when you put this over it the light shines through and it illuminates the picture it's so pretty i would show you guys it but i'm in a very lit room so you wouldn't really be able to see the effect well there's your picture frame jar and you can even, I've used, I've done these, um, and used like vases and, um, after the picture frame, then you can put like flowers in it, like fresh flowers that you've picked you while you're out on a walk with a dog or anything like that. You can put the fresh flowers in it instead of using the lid, which now I can't get off cause the jar is super wet. There we go. There we go. And you can put fake flowers in it and have the flowers coming out of it um you can just put different colored like sea glass rocks in there um like i said the flameless um tea light candles are my absolute favorite they look really 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 pretty and it's a nice simple decoration that you can just keep on an end stand you know uh, end stand nightstand coffee table Gives it a little extra light, and it just looks really cool. And you're upcycling, so you don't have to worry about throwing it in the garbage. You can just use the old jar for really pretty decorations. And then you just let it just set it aside, let it dry, and you're good to go. Hope you got super messy like me. Hope you had lots of fun. Hope you guys are all staying safe and staying healthy. Hope so, hope so. Thinking of all you guys. Miss seeing your little faces. Hopefully we'll get to see you guys soon. If not, stay safe. Stay healthy. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for coming and doing the craft with me. You guys are great. Have a good one.